it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel. Today is part two of our Move Like a Pro series and I'm really excited to share this one with you today. So last week I did part one and in that video I told you all about what you need to do when you're packing for your move. And all of those tips applied whether you were packing yourself or whether you were having a moving company come in and pack up for you because we've done it both ways. So I have lots of tips and all the tips I shared really apply in either one of those situations. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it in the description box below so you can check that one out. Today in part two, I am gonna be sharing with you how I organize all of my important documents that I wanna take with me on the move and I make sure that they are not put on the moving truck. So I told you that was something important that you wanna do as you're packing. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you exactly what those documents are and how you want to organize them, or at least how I organize them, and hopefully that will help you in your next move. I'm also gonna share with you exactly what I do when it comes to forwarding my mail. And I'm gonna be sharing a tip with you. It's something that I've been doing for years. I do it every move, and I'm so glad that I do. And I have never seen or heard anybody else talk about this, whether it's on blogs that I read or videos, but it has always worked really well for us. So I'm gonna let you know what that little tip is also. So make sure you stay tuned for that one. Give this video a thumbs up if you find these tips helpful. And if you are interested in creating a beautiful home, simplifying your daily routines and living your most inspired life, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your bell notification so you'll never miss a video. sure that you carry your important documents and your precious jewelry anything like that with you so when it comes to your documents there are four main documents that you want to make sure that you take with you whether you are driving yourself or whether you are flying on the plane so when we moved between Texas and Alaska we would always fly so I would take a carry-on suitcase and in there I would make sure that I had my most important documents with me the four documents you want to keep with you during a move are your birth certificates, social security cards, passports, and then your last three years of tax returns. Now typically they say to keep seven years of tax returns, but during a move I let the movers go ahead and pack up my older tax returns for those seven years, but I always keep the most recent three years. To organize all of these documents and other really important documents that I wanna take with me, I love these envelopes. So I think I started using these about three moves ago and I have not looked back since. I love these for the moves and they're also great around the house too. I found these at Target years ago. I don't know that I've seen them in Target recently, but I also haven't been looking too much, but I will link some in the description box below in case you're interested, because these are great for moves, but also for organizing other things around the house. So it's an oversized envelope where you can fit anything letter sized in there and still have extra room. I like it because it actually will hold quite a bit. And then it has a nice zipper top right here. So I love that because it's just easy to get in and out of. So this is where I keep all of my important documents. Now I have about three of these that I use and I take with me in every move and put them into my carry-on suitcase. This is one that I had from our last move, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you exactly what I have in it and how I've got it organized. I love using plain manila clasp envelopes, just the letter size because they fit in here perfectly. I like that they are concealed so you can't see exactly what's in here, but also I am able to write on it exactly what is on the outside. So I always label whatever is in each envelope because when you're in a move, you are constantly having to go through things and sort through and find this, that, or the other. And I like to know exactly what's in what. When I get to the new home, when we're on the other side of the move, I can pull these out to put them away and I know exactly what is in each one. Um, and honestly, guys, I kind of keep it like this because it makes it easy, even in my filing drawers, just to find things. So I even keep these 
these organized like this at home and then the next time I go to move it just makes it easier so I do tend to redo these when I move but you get the idea I'm just gonna pull everything out so I can just go through it easier with you my next three envelopes were taxes so I had my 2016 taxes my 2017 taxes and then more tax documents i already took out my other one but i do keep three years of taxes and this was just an extra overflow for some other tax documents that we had so those are the main things that you want to keep with you at all times but of course there's going to be other things that are personal to you that you're going to want to bring with you and so i'm going to go through some of those with you right now in this particular envelope, I also had something that's one of my most precious things from my dad. When I got married, he wrote a bunch of recipes for me. At that time, he was the main cook in our home. And some of the recipes were his, some were from my mom, and some were from my aunt. But anyway, he wrote all of these recipes for me. So I keep this in this envelope. I have them, I know I need to do better with these, but I have them in these, um, little sheet protectors they fit in there so I have all of those and then I also keep some other recipes that were from my mom that are some of my favorite recipes in here that I don't want anything to happen to these they always come with me the next thing I had in this particular packet was all of my moving information so whenever you move especially if you're using a moving company they're gonna have tons of inventory sheets for you to fill out and sign as they go through so this was my um moving inventory sheet you can see we use golden north i have it all labeled on here and i also labeled the year guys because we move so much that i want to make sure that when i'm going back through things i know exactly what year this was from and then when i get home on the other end it's easier for me to file things if i want to do it in a different type of filing system i also have the folder that they gave us with all of the information that the moving company gave us. So this type of folder fits right in here perfectly. A lot of times you'll get something like this maybe from your realtor as well. And that's another thing that's good to put in here. So in this particular one, those are my main most important documents that I had in this folder. I'll usually keep another one that has all of the information I need throughout my move. So I know I can always go to this when I need it. So there's a lot of information about ACE. If you have pets, you're gonna have tons of information you need, especially if they are having to fly on an airplane. There's information with that that you're gonna need. There's gonna be their vet records that you're gonna need, um, some medical records for your own medical records. So I like to keep all of that stuff in another envelope. I also like to keep any checkbooks that haven't been used any information that I have about the people who are buying our house, for example, the people that bought our house in Alaska this last time um, had given me their phone numbers, so I wanted to keep all of that in this so I knew it was gonna be safe with me because those are things that I might need. And of course I could put that in my phone, but I wanted to make sure I also had a copy of those things as well. So you can decide for yourself things that are really meaningful to you or things that are really important that you don't want to take a chance on anything happening to and put in something like this to take with you on the airplane or in your car. Another valuable thing that I always keep with me and pack in that carry-on suitcase, whether I'm driving or flying, is my jewelry. So, you know, if it's just costume jewelry, I don't really care about that and the movers can pack that. But any of my jewelry that's not costume jewelry, I like to take with me. So I love these little jewelry organizers. I got these years ago at QVC. I will look to see if I can find something similar and I'll link it in the description box below. But there are all kinds of different jewelry organizers I have two of these and i love them but they do tend to take up a little more space because they're hard so i also like to use some that are softer and don't really take up as much space and kind of will mold wherever i need it to go i also use whatever i can find guys because i have a decent amount of jewelry that i don't want to get packed and i take it with me so i also use any little things like this that are just easy to then put into the suitcase and the way that I can contain all of that is by using packing cubes. I love the Eagle Creek brand, but there are plenty others out there. I'll link some of these in the description box as well. These are great because you can just put 
all of your individual jewelry items in here and I need more than one of these but you just zip it all up and it keeps all of this together and contained in your suitcase so then I know I just have a couple packing cubes to pull out and I have all of my jewelry in there and then along with my envelopes it makes packing in that little carry-on suitcase so easy all right so today we're talking about all the important things you need to keep with you when you move and one of the things that I don't think people think about too much as being really important is your mail so we will go to the post office and get our mail forwarded and that's all great but there are some times where that just doesn't work and things still get sent to your old address and I know in the world we live in today a lot of our mail is junk mail believe me it's one of my biggest pet peeves but there are important things that come through the mail that we really need. These envelopes are one of my best friends when it comes to moving. I use them for so many different things. I always get about five or six of these and write my forwarding address. And if you don't have a new home that you're moving into right away, one of the first things we always do when we move, when we've not moved right into a house, is get a P.O. box. So whether it's my new address for my home or a temporary P.O. box, whatever it is, I will leave that on this envelope for them. I put stamps on it and I also put the address on it and then I leave a note for the homeowners asking them to forward any mail to me that would happen to come in and to use these envelopes to do it. When you do this, you also want to make sure that you put more than enough stamps on there because I don't want this to cost the new homeowners anything. I want to make this as easy as possible for them that they can just collect a few items of mail and put it in one of these envelopes and mail it to me. I always put like five or six stamps on here just to make sure that there's enough postage and they won't have to pay any more for postage. Whatever it costs for the stamps on this, it is so worth it. Even if they don't end up using all of the envelopes, it's really worth it. Every time we've moved, I have had the homeowners use these envelopes and send me mail. So it's so worth it to me. And like I said, I don't know why other people don't do this. I've never seen anybody do it, but this is one of my top tips, something I do all the time. So make sure you leave them envelopes to forward any mail that comes through after you have already moved. Part three of our Move Like a Pro series is going to be coming out next week. So make sure that you are subscribed with your bell notifications turned on so you won't miss that video. If you found these tips helpful, please give this a thumbs up and comment below and let me know which was your favorite tip or have you organized things like this before or if you have any other ways that you've organized these types of things for your move, let let us know that in the comments below. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.